was really scared that the judge just said, okay, that's it, you have to go back home. I was, every time when I go there, I pray God, I pray to God that everything goes well, but we didn't really have a lawyer. Every time when we went up there, the, the judge just said, um, do you have a lawyer? Do you want to extend the time? Is, is either yes or no. Jeanette really had nowhere to go. She was here alone in the United States. She had nobody really to advocate for her. She was scared. She was afraid of going back to Guinea. Um, she felt, I think, helpless. And uh, so I wanted to do whatever I could to, to help her out. I don't have much experience in immigration matters. The pro bono coordinator from KIND was always there anytime I had a question. Just all along the way I felt supported. I never felt um, like I had gotten in over my head or anything like that. Um, it, was, it was nice to have somebody there that I could consult if uh, I needed some help. Personally, uh, it has been just such a pleasure to get to know Jeanette, to get to work with Jeanette, to um, be able to help her and see. I think what's so rewarding is being able to see the positive impact that the work I've done has had. She was facing deportation and going back to a very difficult and really dangerous and scary situation in, in Guinea and now is able to remain here in the United States go to school and, and basically live the American dream. It's hard to think of a more at-risk class than children, minors who are in a different country, uh, where they maybe don't even speak the language, um, where they're in a legal system they don't understand and they're frightened and alone, and just having somebody there to advocate for them makes all the difference in their lives. and. Uh, it, it'll make all the difference in your life getting the opportunity to advocate for them. What I've dreamed of is becoming true. I've dreamed that, um, that one day I'm going to be living independently without my own anything and I will be, become successful.